me. Excuse me. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna come in right here. Is that okay? Is that okay? Oh, you got your little film stuff set up. Oh, that's so cute. I love. I love how you still do your little projects. Okay. I'm just gonna get cozy. Hold on. You like the blanket? Yeah, it's the one I stole from your from your aunt Linda. Yeah, at the at the at uh, what the you know the Christmas thing, and we do it every year. So, yeah, Abigail started it, so she wouldn't have to buy everybody a present. White elephant, white elephant. Yeah. Well, I stole this one right now from Linda now, didn't I? <laughs> Is it on? Okay. Question one. I'm trying to do the Chapel Rowan, Chapel Rowan lipstick in your teeth thing. Can you see it? Is it working? Is it? Does it just make me look old? Is it just making me look old? Okay. Oh, it's just. Is it going off? Is it going off? That might have made it worse. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to get cozy with my favorite little nibbling. Good to see you. Haven't gotten to chat yet. Okay. I'm talking myself in. Okay. I do have a bit of an ultimatum being here right now. I was in the kitchen with your mom. And she will not stop yip yip yapping. You can hear her right now. Yip 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 About you not having a Halloween costume. I I don't want to hear it. Why don't you have a Halloween costume yet? Everybody can wear a Halloween costume. You're never too old. In fact, you're in your 20s, right? You should be getting hot. Hot on Halloween. I will not have my blood. Hold on. I won't have my blood walking around. Not in a Halloween costume. We're picking one for out for you tonight that your mother will stop. And then you and I can move on. I know you need to pick one. You have to pick one. I've known your mother for 39 years. Way longer than you have, okay? And she's not going to let this one go. So we're picking out a Halloween costume for you. And I, I brought, just like we used to do when you were a little kid, okay? You know those, um... The, the magazines that we would get when you were a kid and we'd go through them and they smelled kind of like kind of like a tire fire but like in a festive way like a pumpkin tire fire always reminds me of Halloween well they don't make them anymore but I went down to the FedEx I went down to FedEx printed out some options and you and I are going to go through them okay. now I just need my pen so put that there another glug 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 No, you can't have any. Okay. I just... What do I have in here? What do I have? I know I have a pen. I always have a pen. Okay. Got some walnuts. It's good protein. This whole family has a problem with protein. Not me. I'm the only one eating it. Your mom, she's like, oh... Oh, a piece of garlic bread and some lettuce. That's all we got to eat. Protein. Meat. I don't care if it's itchy to touch. Have some nuts. We don't need these right now. We'll just boil them up. Um, my tarot cards. We can do those later. That would be fun, right? Right? I need the tarot cards now you'll be following. Okay. We got... Oh, oh, my Muay Thai glove. Oh, and my pen. My favorite pen. Oh, um, can I finish the bag haul? Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, Muay Thai gloves. I have been kicking butt down at the Muay Thai gym. Okay, I I get paired up with this big guy, double my height. I know you think that's physically impossible. I swear to God, ten foot, ten foot guy. I knocked him right on his ass, kicked him. So hot, he cried a little bit. Yeah, your aunt, your aunt's kicking 10 foot guys until they cry on a toast day. Isn't that crazy? 
you should come down with me sometime. You know, you're a young independent kid. Adult, you're a young adult. You're a young adult out in this scary world. Scary world. You should you should learn self defense. You should be kicking ten foot guys like your aunt. More toy bellows. Oh, nuts. Auntie dropped a nuts. Auntie dropped a nuts. Oh, and then my book club book. They never thought I'd read it. And to be fair, I often don't. But I'm I'm 50 pages into this bad boy. It's a 340 page, 300, 350 page book. But that's 150, 250, 100, 200, 300, 7. That's one seventh, one seventh of the way there. I got like 10 days. Been reading it for two months. It's good. I like it. Okay, and then, oh, mm. Mm. oh, some dates, they're good for you, and these ones are, they're plump, nice and plump dates, a lot of them you get, they're very dehydrating, these ones still have the water. Chapstick, not gonna use that, can't ruin the lip look. But yeah, that's what I got going on in here. Oh my book, whatever. So I'll just pile that all back in here. I'm serious about the tarot cards. We gotta know. If you don't pick, the tarot cards will pick for you. Yeah. I mean it. I meant it with your with your college, and I mean it now. And your college turned out good. You went to a good school. Thanks to the cards. Okay. We are cozy. I'm still holding the chapstick for some reason. And we're going through this. Now, the nice guy at FedEx printed it out. Some of them are double-sided, some of them aren't. It's fine. But I'm making you go through the whole thing with me. You can't just pick the first one because I paid two dollars to print this packet for you. And I had to beg the guy for a staple. I go, can I staple it? He's like, ah, not really for, they don't, he's British, he's British. He goes, they're not really for customers. Yeah, that's all he sounds like. He tells me they're not for customers. I'm like, I'm gonna use a stapler, I'm in a FedEx. Yeah, okay. Category one. Alien costume. Coming close. Oh, she's coming nice and close. Close up. Ah, okay. So there's a few options we can go here. Move my kombucha. There's the inflatable ones. Have you ever been in these inflatable costumes before? Okay. Let me see. What I like about there's a couple inflatable ones. These two. They're both going for the same vibe. They're both going for like a like a yippie and kidnapped vibe. Um, one is $49.99, one is $59.99. Now the only difference I'm seeing in here is that one is a kid's alien costume, one is an adult's an alien costume, both inflatable. What I'm thinking is we get the kid one, and I think I can get you in there. It's just like when you're... Um, your third birthday when I was like, I'm putting that kid in pumpkin. And the only pumpkin we could get. Well, like, not your third birthday, sorry. You, your third Halloween. You were three years old, right? I, I come in. I come to my sister. I go, we didn't put the kid in the pumpkin ever. We have to put this kid in a pumpkin. It's a rite of passage. It is an American tradition to put kids in pumpkins. I'm putting that baby in a pumpkin. Your mom goes, that's not a baby. They're too squirmy. We'll never get them in there. And I go, I... Get the I brought the biggest pumpkin that they had down at the King Supers. I bring the biggest pumpkin from King Supers in here. And you're not going to let me put your three-year-old in there? I carved that thing out to the brim. To the brim. So carved. And I squeezed you in there and those pictures are adorable. I know you never touched pumpkin cats again. Your mom always blames me for that. But I'll tell you what. 
I don't think that's my fault. I think that's just gross, and I think you have sensory issues. Anyway, inflatables. The thing about the inflatable is, I think it gets hot and sweaty, so I don't know if that's your vibe. I can't stand the helicopters in this neighborhood. Oh my gosh. Anyway, as I'm saying, the thing about the inflatable things is with your sensory issues, I think it's going to be really hot in there. I think it's going to be scalding. But if we want to do like this abductee vibe, it is, it's a good look. It's funny. What kind of Halloween are you trying to have? You trying to be cokey or you trying to be cute? Because we can get both of those in the alien category. Okay, cuter, cuter. I like it. Okay, so they do have, you see this app? Uh, we got this alien cute girl. It's like uh, that movie Zombies from the Disney Channel. Yeah, yeah, like the adorable aliens in the movie Zombies. You've seen that, right? It's not weird that I have. And that's only $34.99 for a cute dress. I wonder if it comes with the bobbles. Bobbles and the bob. Bobbles and the bob. You want a bobble and a bob. You want a bobble and a bob. You want a bobble and a bob. Bobble and bob. Bobble and bob. Bobble and bob. I'm gonna write down. We could do. I don't, I think you'd have to buy it separately. It's a scam. It always is. But the bobs are only sixty dollars, and the bob or no six six dollars. You kidding me? And the bob wig is only sixteen ninety nine. That's a pretty good deal. I just think you should consider it, and then we could get you a little ray gun. Ah, you'd be zapping people all Halloween. You. Just consider it. Well, I told you we, we can't pick the first one until we go through all of them. But I, I highly recommend this alien situation. Now, some other things to consider is they got this $20 light-up alien costume kit. I have no idea what's in there. So maybe now, wave inflatable co arm costume. Oh, this kid. It's, so it's a kid's one. And you had... Your head's right there. So it's like you'll be so tall. And I know being too tall is an insecurity of yours. I think you're a perfect height. I think you're a height everybody wants to be. And I don't think any height is a bad height. But I know you don't like being super tall. You're scared of the sky. You're scared of flying. And that is because you're a reincarnate of Amelia Earhart. And I have always said that. So we maybe don't want to get you too tall. So that one's out. These Deadly Boppers ugly. Light up costume kit scam. Dark Alien, the signature collection, $70. It's like silver and scary. Mm. You're not allowed to be scary. You're in your 20s, be hot. Be hot in your 20s. Be hot in your 20s. Adult inflatable, see, this adult inflatable alien costume, one, could be hot if we did it right. But, I'm not liking, again, this head placement is all wrong. All wrong. So, ouch. This alien is too ripped for you. I think you're more of a, it's just, it's not right. Okay. I'm not saying you're not ripped. I'm just saying you're not Halloween alien ripped. And you could be. And it's just, it's more, it's not about you as you are. It's about the vibe you bring to a function is not a ripped alien bodysuit vibe. And that's just the truth. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think it's beautiful. And I think you're a better person because of it. But it's just not what we're going to do for Halloween. You weren't even interested in that one? Okay. And this one's an ugly. Okay. So right now. We're liking this cute little skirt situation and the Deedly Boppers. So I'm just going to put a little star. Star for the aliens. <laughs> I crack myself up. And that is how you know you're one with, you're at peace with yourself. So always have fun with yourself. Okay. And then I 
just had to download this category. I saw it and I was like, finding costumes. That's my nippling. That's my baby doll. You've got to do something funny if you can. Funny and hot in your 20s. That's, it's a big ask. But you can pull it off. You are funny and hot and in your 20s and it's awesome. Okay. Immediate nose on here. The kid's costume is back. The alien abduction. We already said no to that. I'm going to say no to all oh, the sandy cheeks. There's Patrick Star. There's the adult Stay Puff co inflatable costume. Just because they're funny characters, characters doesn't mean they're a funny costume. And that's something that the people need to understand. I'm quenched by how upsetting that is. That's tight. Did your mother make that? Maybe it's just her aura infecting it. I'm not taking the sunglasses off their prescription. I have to see. Jeez Louise. Okay. Again, characters. The dodgeball one at the bottom. I think there might be a second picture. But no. I like the movie. Do you know that? A little bit. I... You know, I've seen people do it for, for decades, really. For decades. I just think you're a little too clever. I think you're a little too clever to do a costume people have been doing for decades. And that's just my opinion on you. And that's a high opinion. Okay. So this, this page, the funny pages, I'm not funny enough for you. Not funny enough for mine. Okay. And then, again, the adult alien in costumes back more characters we got the south pack guy the like yelly one the short yelly one with the hat is that all of them the main one is that all of them i don't watch it um we got a teletubby you are too old to be a teletubby and you can't make that hot adult shark jumpsuit costume i don't see what's funny about that Shock attacks are really serious. That's what did in Muriel. Yeah. Well, it was the Jaws mechanical shock at the Universal Tour. And it didn't really do her in, but it more uh, captivated her and haunted her for the rest of her life. And it was definitely the last thought on her deathbed. I know she was like, I love you all. I've had such a great life. Blah, blah, blah. I'm talking all that up. But I, I could see behind your eyes. She was still thinking about that damn shark. So, no. Maybe for Muriel? No. Too soon. Hot dog. Everybody thinks something phallic is funny. What's funny about phallic things? We've seen them. And then there's this cactus. It's a kid's cactus, but remember we can squeeze. Yeah, we always can. It's a kid cactus. It says free hugs. A kid cactus that says free hugs. You know, I do think I like the, the sentiment. It's another inflatable one. I just, with the sensory things, I don't think you're going to like that. And like, where are we going on Halloween? No, that's a bad answer. Find a party. You're going to a party. Yeah, you can't wear this to a party. I like the... Okay. If I was you, I was young, I'd get in a little sexy green gut outfit, put some spikes on, maybe spikes straight out the nipples. Big ones. And then the free hug sign painted on your bare stomach. No? Okay. I mean, you're only young once and you're wasting it, but that's fine. Okay, we got another hot dog. Lame. Adult potty pooper costume. Adult potty pooper costume. It'd be you on a toilet. Is there a way we can shush that up? Is there a way we can make that more interesting, more exciting? What about... So it's, it's on the toilet. You're on the toilet. And you hold into it. You could hold some of that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, Trump toilet paper. Or, or you be Jeff Bezos. You be Jeff Bezos sitting on a toilet. And the, you make, you make the toilet paper $100 bills. You don't like the $100 bill idea? 
I mean, I think that's hilarious, but I guess if we are going with the rules of you being at a party, which you will go to a party, and you will get, kiss a couple strangers. I know you're not dating anybody, so you're going to kiss a stranger. It's Halloween. You're kissing a stranger in a costume, and then you'll have one of those dead most be long, like long plot lines where you're looking for him for the rest of the, like, ten years or whatever, how long, how long that show goes. You're going to do that. Okay. You don't have to do that. But it'd be cool. Young ones. No toilet. Nobody wants to kiss Jeff Bezos on a toilet. Chipotle water cup costume? Corporate shill. Obviously not. Skeleton. Lame. Banana. Now I kind of love the balloon animal. Isn't it so cute? Isn't it adorable? I'm really digging it for some reason. I can't explain why. It looks like the picture. In the picture, does that kid and the balloon animal seem like they're giving you the finger? That'd be funny. You walk around, you're a balloon animal giving kids the finger. And this is why your mom says I'm a bad influence. Okay, no. Honestly, this whole section is just inflatable. 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 Oh, oh, peanut butter and jelly. Oh, I did that with my first husband. You're single, so you can't pull it off. Yeah, sit with that one. I'm just saying work on it. If you want to be peanut butter and jelly, there's like a FedEx guy on you. You want to be FedEx guy? No. I think... Honestly, with love and support, uh, I just think that if you dressed up like a FedEx employee, a FedEx employee would probably see you at some point in the night, and then you'd just start help moving boxes. Moving boxes, you'd work a whole eight-hour shift on Halloween night. Maybe a little tipsy, that might make it fun, but it still just wouldn't work out. Okay, so we're not putting you in there. We have this... Adult Bulvarian costume. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna also say no to the sumo suit because it seems a little culturally insensitive, if not completely racist. So we're cutting that one out. Sandy's back. Elvis? The kids know Elvis. Because of the Austin Butler. Now, see, if you could do, can you do the Austin Butler voice? The Thank you, her. Thank you very much. Thank you. I can't do it. Can you do it? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. No. You sound worse than I do. And that's saying something because mine's really bad. Okay. So, no Elvis. Okay. But what if, can you do, uh, why does he sound like in Dune? Is he like, I don't know. I forgot what he said. I fell asleep in the theater. I hate to say it. I fell asleep in the theater. What does he have a funny voice in that? What if you bald? You shave your head. You go bald. You do the alien guy he is in Dune. And then you do the Elvis costume and you just Austin Butler who can't let go of his, let go of his, his dreams. Well, his roles. He, workaholic Austin Butler. Austin Butler workaholic. Yeah. You see in the vision. I'm putting a star by it. I'm putting a star by Elvis. I'm going to write Austin Butler equals workaholic. Who's his girlfriend? That could be him. What do we think about a traffic light? We love Taylor Swift. Traffic lights, if it would be all right, you could do a little, little I D. Okay, in the middle there, are you okay? Traffic lights don't know, like Taylor Swift said. Ah. I'm putting a little hot by it, and we are gonna talk about it at the end of this packet. Okay. And then these ones are the Halloween icons. Iconic Halloween costumes, an icon for my icon. Ah, uh, there's some random stuff in here. No, no. <gasps> A baby pumpkin costume. You know I want to squeeze you in there. You know I want to just pinch you and squeeze you 
and shove you in that little pumpkin. It would be so cute. But we're going for heart. So no. I'll also, for those reasons, cross off the toddler witch costume. I think you could do an adult witch. Bride of Frankenstein wig. That might be fun. It's a fun shape. Let me look at your head. Let me look at your head. Come here. Come here. Take turn. Ten left. Right. Neck up. Neck up. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm picturing it. I'm picturing it. I'm picturing it. I'm putting it together. And I hate it. I hate it for you. long for you okay the adult costumes they have is like is that what uh what's his face tom hanks for a scump wears on saturday night live do you guys know that reference is it david pumpkins david has pumpkins is that the david has pumpkins so let me see let me see the fedex guy did not space these out well no, it just says adult jack. $70 for an adult jack linen suit. You know that thing's made out of polyester. Polyester, absolutely not. And then, uh, this is just buckets. You don't need a bucket, right? You using a Ziploc bag? Well, you're getting candy, right? I can't have you using a Ziploc bag. I'm just going to pick up one for you. No, you're not allowed to think on this. Mm. Oh, Celestial plush cat treat bucket. But there's no stars or anything, so I'm gonna say no. Cat, or no, bat, B A T, cauldron plush treat bucket. That's the one. Oh my gosh. Look at this grovy ghost girl costume. And she's in little go go boots. I think you would look at Stella and little go-go boots and a quirky ghost ghost dress. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, I'm putting a little check. I'm putting a little star next to it. Okay. I'm cutting all the ponchos. It's all just putting adults in ponchos. Just because you're an adult doesn't mean, mean you need to wear something lame. If I saw you wearing just a catchy poncho for Christmas. No. Halloween. It's basically our family's Christmas, you know. Ever since it was ruined. Never mind. I won't bring up regular Christmas. Anyway, if we saw you in a poncho, I'd be deeply, deeply embarrassed. So we're going to skip this page because we've already got a big star on the ghost. This page is a bunch of the same. Skeleton poncho, absolutely not. Ghost poncho, if you're doing a ghost, you're doing the dress. Sequin spider uh, poncho, no. You don't need a light up stack of pumpkins, or a cup, or a tote bag. This is a lot of garbage, garbage, garbage. Oh, and then we got a Grim Reaper page. Ooh. Come and get me, you never will. Yeah, I'm gonna outlive everybody. When you make the choice to not have children, they say your life expectancy goes up 50 years. That's why the government keeps trying to make us have babies. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. These are all basically the same. I look at them, I see a black cloak. And a scythe. Well, anything that doesn't have a scythe, I'm going to cross off. So, no. Warlock, no. This one's just a knife. Scythe. Scythe, but it's for toddlers. I will say, I can squeeze you into a kid's costume, but maybe not a toddler costume. No. Shadow Reaper. For $29.99. Grim Reaper with a skull face for $24.99. Okay, I'm between these two. Do you want a skull face or no skull face? I think the skull face is in the season, so I'm gonna do it. Well, we'll, we'll pick between it at the end. Okay. Skull face. And then, oh my 
my gosh. I was just wondering if you would like to be a cheerleader. Well, because we watched the DCC documentary together this year, and I just thought, like, maybe you'd want to be a DCC girl for Halloween. You want to be a DCC girl? Yes, I understood the reality of feminism and all the problems that come up when we obsess over women's bodies and blah, blah, blah. I just think the outfits are fun and the dance looked fun too. Don't you want to find? Since you care so much about the rights of all the genders. Now, you're a good kid. I'm really inspired by you. I aim to be better. I'm just gonna circle a couple of things. Oh my god, a Playboy cheer squad. Uh, okay, I'm starring that for me. You won't have to see me wearing it, but I am wearing it at some point. Okay, well, I guess this is more cheerleaders. Still too morally high ground for that, yeah. Also the children's cheerleading outfits. They're like zombies, it's cute. Okay. And then the last options I have for you. Mermaids. Yeah, you want to be a mermaid? Oh, you always wanted to be a mermaid. Remember, we'd go to the pool and you'd go, Auntie, Auntie, play, play mermaids with me. I want to play mermaids. And then I always had to get my hair wet for you. I always got my hair wet for you because I love you. So I thought I'd, I'd pick out a couple mermaid costumes. Sue me. Let's see, okay, what do we have? We got this one with like funky legs, like Abba. Or this one that's more a skirt situation. This one's a dress. Oh, this one comes with a trident. Oh, and then we could get you a heat resistant siren wig isn't that you could curl it get the big mermaid curls the long luscious mermaid curls wouldn't that be so fun okay if we're gonna do mermaid because i'm not taking it off the list yet if you're gonna do mermaid would you rather do a jumpsuit like abba or would you rather do uh like a skirt situation abba yeah because we love Mamma Mia. Honestly, you could use this and be like the super trooper at the end. Yeah, yeah. That's a good option. And I'm getting the wig for me. Big old hat. And an exclamation point. Okay. So our tops are cute alien with a see you next Tuesday, Bob. Yeah. And we said no to these goofy ones. No, no, no. Lots of those. Elvis, but Elvis slash the alien from Dune. Austin Butler, who can't step away from work. Okay. This go, go, ghost. Go, go, ghost. Go, go, ghost. Grim Reaper with the skeleton face or an Abba mermaid. Okay. I'm gonna say it's between Abba mermaid, Abba mermaid. I'm gonna take Elvis off the list for you. I, well, if you did like a V-neck situation, throw out, show some things off. Mmm. Can you do either of the, you can't do either of the voices. It's, it's crossed off. We're not doing that anymore. Okay. Abba Mermaid or Go, Go, Ghost. Go, Go, Ghost. You gotta pick one. You gotta pick right now. Now, seriously, pick right now. What do you want to do? Abba Mermaid, Go, Go, Ghost. 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 I'm tongue twisting myself. You got your auntie tongue twisted. What are you gonna do about it? Fine, I'm picking for you.
Absolutely stunning this Halloween. Okay, so I will order a go go ghost for you. Big hat on you. Big hat. Go go ghost for you. And then I'm getting myself the Playboy cheerleading outfit and the mermaid wig. You want any wigs? You want any wigs? No. I mean, your hair is amazing, so I wouldn't just tuck it in a wig. Once you get like old like me, it starts falling out. And no, it does start falling out. Our family actually does have a very strong female pattern baldness uh, gene that goes down. So you're gonna kind of lose, you're gonna lose hair. Like you have it on the top, and you'll have a big bald strip here, and then you'll have one sprig over here and you're gonna always try to push it this way it's never gonna work so maybe we could try out some wigs now okay enjoy your hair while it lasts okay i'm gonna go deal with your mother tell her we solved this problem i love you